Now, in a qualitative study, as we've discussed, it's very much an inductive approach. We start with observations and the collection of data. And then from that, we develop some research questions. And we then explore those research questions using various methods. And some of those methods might involve um, embedding ourselves with the subjects, um, as in an ethnographic study. Some of it may be exploring a series of cases, um, as in case studies. Um, there are a range of different ways we can go about collecting that data. Some of them more complex than others. Um, and we gather that data together. But we can also use um, quantitative methods, such as surveys in a qualitative study. The use of a survey doesn't make it a quantitative study. It's still a qualitative study if our approach is the gathering of data and then developing the research questions and the research focus from that data in an inductive way. So we then look for patterns and qualitative research is often called pattern matching um, where we're trying to explore the interactions between the different elements that we've collected data on and explore and um, identify the patterns that we can see within that data. So that then allows us to create generalizable theories. So generally, we'll have a set of data that relates to some specific um, events, such as maybe the use of an educational technology in a series of schools. And so from that, we can develop some patterns around what that says. In these schools, educational technology was used effectively in these ways. Um, we can then theorize that it was because of these factors. And we can then try to make some generalizations that if those factors were the same in another instance, in another school, then um, similar results should be seen. So that's how qualitative research goes about providing a generalizable outcome that can be applied in other situations. Now, there are other nuances within qualitative research. Uh, qualitative research has a lot of methodologies, a lot of methods, um, and various emphasis and de-emphasis on different aspects. But essentially, it's an inductive process of pattern matching.